everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So yes, I did take time to do my hair and makeup today because I noticed that when I don't get done up, I get some snide comments here and there from some people. So I take I uh, took some time to uh, to fix myself. Anyway, um, if you guys are interested in this look, uh, let me just tell you what it is real quick. Um, so today I used the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette and I did the look number three on the back, which is the Peach Lemonade, which I'm not nuts about because my skin is very fair and I find that it doesn't show up too much on my skin. I do prefer my purples and then for my lip today, I'm going to be, well, I did use the Dollar Tree LA Colors Shiny. And this is in the shade Dreamy, which is like a a nude brown. Well, not really nude. It's like a brown color. And on top of my eyeshadow, I always like to use just a hint of the Wet n Wild Color Icon. And this is in Brass. So just give a little glitter glitter there, just a touch and did some contouring as you can see. And you know what I have to say, I really don't toot my own horn about stuff, but my skin is looking kind of proper today. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got for, from, from, I'm going to show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, I have to say that the Dollar Trees in my neighborhood kind of suck. I don't know, like, I watch um, Bargain Bethany. She's one of my favorite Dollar Tree YouTubers, and she always finds this great stuff. I think she li lives in Michigan. I'm not quite sure, but whatever state she lives in, she finds the best stuff at Dollar Tree. And then I try to go and find it, and I cannot find it. So I'm going to start off with, um, I'm going to start off my haul with my most useless item. The item that I did not need. Ask me if I needed a mermaid pen. Ask me. So I picked up this, I picked up this cute mermaid pen. Okay. I saw it by the checkout counter. This is the first time I've seen this pen. I like that the cap sticks on pretty well as far as writing quality it is about what you would expect from this type of item not fantabulous writing quality but still a pretty pretty pen and this would be an excellent thumbnail but youtube never picks the thumbnails that i want so anyway uh my nose is running <clears throat> so they had the halloween candy uh, 50 percent off which made it 50 cents each and i waited a while to do this video because like i said i just got lazy and didn't want to do my hair and makeup but then i knew if i didn't do it i would get people to be like you know why aren't you looking fabulous today so but now i am looking fabulous so there um so i did pick up some of these peanut butter kisses i did get two bags i did go through one i know it's terrible i gotta stop eating candy very bad for me. Then I also picked up the um, Palmer Peppermint Bark. I do like Peppermint Bark. I only get it this time of year around Christmas. Eve. It's not even Christmas time. You know, I went to, to Bath and Body Works. That haul will be coming up and they were already playing Christmas music. And I, you know, I have an issue with that. With people skipping over Thanksgiving completely and just jumping into Christmas because it's such a commercial holiday. Like Thanksgiving is an important holiday too. It's a time for you to spend, you know, meaningful moments with your friends and family and talk about what you're thankful for. It's But because it's not as commercial and it doesn't drive people to shop, it's all focused on Black Friday and Christmas, which should be about family, but ends up being about gift giving and money and that's a whole other thing. So... The Peppermint Bark uh, Palmer is not such a great brand. So I would tell you that this, I'm going to tell you, uh, the quality of this chocolate is not great. Yes, I did eat the whole thing, not in one sitting. I've had this haul for a while. So I would say if you want Peppermint Bark, get the, either it's called, either it's Giradelli or Ghirardelli, uh Peppermint Bark Squares or get the Lint peppermint bark truffles the chocolate quality is much better this is a little bit rubbery for me so i would not repurchase that not even at a dollar then i have some i have a whole bunch of stuff let's 
let's go through. Now I know I bought some Ziploc bags and you know I have no idea where they are. No idea. They must have fell out somewhere. Oh well. I got some bowls. That's not that exciting. Um, then I also picked up some hooks to hang up my Christmas decorations on my door. And I got some, I'm just going through some random stuff here. I picked up some more razors. I know I told you guys that I like the pink and the blue. I changed my mind on that. I don't like the pink. The pink, the, the razors feel dull. I don't feel like they're doing anything. So I much prefer the men's, the blue. Um, this is the six blade razors from Assured. Uh, it says men's superior disposable razors. So yeah, get these girls, even if they're men's. Then I got a little coin purse, which I don't normally use coin purses, but like for parking meters where they just won't take your debit card for whatever reason, the meter is not working or you're at a vending machine or you need quarters or something. I've just been carrying some extra quarters. So rather than overstuff my, my wallet, the change portion part in the back, I picked up this cute little change purse and it says alpaca on it. It kind of looks like a llama, but it's an alpaca, according to them. And this just says zipper purse. They had a couple of different designs, but I thought this was cute. It has a little tassel on the end there, a little tassel, tassel. So, um, what else do I want to get into? I want to save the makeup for last. I picked up another calendar. This one, I picked up two before. I used the other ones at work. This one I'm going to use at home. This is Scenic Landscapes. Uh, Scenic Wonders 2020 12 month calendar. I don't know. I just like some peaceful, serene looking photos on my calendars. I used to spend a lot of money on calendars and get like the 1950s pinup or Marilyn Monroe calendars. But you know what? For the last, this is going to be the third year. I've just been picking up the Dollar Tree calendars because it really doesn't make that much of a difference, does it? Uh, okay. Now, since I cut my hair super, super short which somebody pointed out to me. Somebody did say I cut it too short, but it will grow back. Um, I got this headband. This is from Scrunchy. Um, So it's the silver headband because when I put my hair up in a clip, it ends up looking all crazy because I have these short pieces. So when I put my hair up, it looks like a hair experience. I kind of get like this kind of geisha, I don't know, kind of, thing going on it looks okay now because i blew out my hair but if it wasn't blown out it would look crazy crazy so yeah um so i got that headband i got another one of these mermaid brushes because i broke the last one this part separated from the stem um and this is a concealer brush but i just use it for my shadows so i picked up another one of those then I got this. I don't know. This is a new product to me. A new product to Dollar Tree, I think, as well. And this is... Um, let me just show it to you before I tell you what it is. Okay, so this is Desange Paris Professional Hair Luxury Salon Color Restore. It says Color Protect System Top Coat Serum. Leave-in treatment for color-treated hair. I don't know about this. They have one for blonde and this is for... I guess a regular, I hope it's not for redheads. It says, inspired by the color techniques of Desange, blah, 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 system of shampoo, top coat serum, color correcting cream helps protect your color and bring shine to your hair, uh, protect your hair, beautiful radiant color. Apply two to three dime size drops to your hair, delicately massage the serum with your fingertips so that your hair is nourished. And it's gonna be one of these little spout oil things i don't know about this product i'm i hope it doesn't turn my hair weird colors because this is colored hair my natural color is like a mousy brown and i dyed it midnight violet so it may look black but if you look at it in certain lights it does show up violet so there's that then i picked up more bolero i'm not like a fan of bolero yet i keep buying it ask me why i don't know um so they have this 
and I've picked up a couple of items in this line. They have the raspberry sugar, and then they have this one, which I kind of prefer, and this is the coconut and rose milk. So this is a facial scrub. Um, so I usually use the St. Ives, this is not open. I usually use the St. Ives apricot scrub. Let's see, facial scrub. To prepare skin wet face before use. Massage in circular motions, concentrating on dry areas of the face. Rinse thoroughly with water. It says moisturizing and exfoliating. So um, I'm going to try it. I've been finding the Bolero products to be um, not oily, but jelly, greasy. I don't know. If you hear snoring, that's my pug. He's always snoring in the background of my videos. Yeah, so... I haven't been crazy about the texture of the Bolero products, but I did like the facial spray and the body spray in these uh, scents, in the raspberry sugar and the coconut and rose milk. So I figured I'd try this. Now, because I have long nails, they're not as long as they used to be, but if you have nails of any considerate length and you go and you put your fingers in a jar of cream, you're gonna get stuff under your nails. So I picked up this facial brush it has a cap on it, so I don't know how hard these bristles are. I hope they're not going to, like, rip up my face. So I figured I would dip this brush in here and then just, you know, do the circular motions to get rid of some of that dead skin. I tend to get the skin, uh, like, by my nose here, in the area, around here. It tends to get dry. And then when you put on um, foundation, it looks like cracks in the sand, like it looks like cracks in the I don't know it doesn't look right it looks scaly so if you have dry skin and put foundation over it without exfoliating so I got this facial brush so I'm gonna use this with this and see how it turns out hopefully it doesn't make me break out all over I don't know why my nose is running so crazy should I leave my hair down like it was I mean I mean it took the time to do it I might as well just leave it down yeah so whatever it smells good Anyway, what other stuff did I get? Oh, so I showed you the, um, I'm like nearsighted. So the color icon of the brass uh, that I use over my eyeshadows. So I picked up some of the um, color icon in the silver. I was able to find it this time. And this color is spiked. That's what it's called. I don't know why they call the other one brass and this one, why don't they call it silver, but they call it spiked. So there is that. Then um, Dollar Tree has come out with some body glitter. You know that Bath and Body Works has some body glitter out in the Land of Sweets collection. I will be talking about that in a haul and I will be doing a review a comparison. Um, usually I use the NYX brand body glitter, which you can also use on your eyelids and face. You know, if you want to give a little sparkle to your cheeks as highlight or above your eyebrows, you know, so not above your eyebrows, like, you know, in the little corners there. So anyway, I got some body glitter. Now, I don't know the difference between these two. One looks darker than the other. I don't know if they go on clear or not. These are both LA colors. So this is LA colors prism. Yeah, prism. I almost said prison prism gel. Okay, and this is in the color Rockstar. Okay, it's like a purple. And then this one is LA Colors Beauty Treasures Body Glitter Gel. This is iridescent body glitter, and this says body glitter gel, and this is in Gleamer. So I don't know if there's any difference between this and this, or if they're like the same exact product in different packaging, I don't know. I'm gonna be trying these out and reviewing them, comparing this with NYX brand, with Bath & Body Works brands, and also with um, the Diamond Polish Shimmer uh, Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. So we'll see how that is. This did come in different colors. It came in like a blue, it came in a silver, which I got somewhere. Ah, so here's the prism gel uh, in the silver or just glittery transparent. Uh, and this is says Ice Princess. Ice Princess. So that's more of the prism gel. I don't think you can use this on your face. Um, no primer needed. Applied to body as desired. Dries clear. 
So it doesn't say anything about putting it on your face, but I would not put it on my face. Uh, like I said, the NYX one, I think I have to read the packaging. I've been using it on my face for like for years. So I, I don't know. Not that I go out with a whole bunch of body glitter on all the time. You know, it's, it's rare, but I want to try out some different ones. I got a contour stick. Okay, so this is in a darker color. You can't really see it. A darker color than what I bought recently because originally I had gotten this, which it, it looks like the same color, but trust me, this is like a, a beige color, like a nude color. And this, you can see it there. Um, I don't know what color this is. Just says highlighter. Okay, and it has a number. And this... This is bronzer, so it's a little darker. So if you could see between, one says highlighter and one says bronzer. To me, this does not show up on my face. I had to put this on with a lot of other highlighter and um, I use the purple holographic from Maybelline on my cheeks as highlighter and then I use the LA Colors beige around the out side of my face my dog is snoring so loud it, it's just unbelievable anyway so that's the difference in the two there um they they show you on the face there how you're supposed to apply the highlighter contour whatever so we'll see if the darker color works or if it just looks like a horrible crayon on me speaking of horrible crayons i have an issue with these i buy these i don't know why this is la colors this is the chunky lip pencil and this is in pretty pink so this reminds me of mac in the shade candy yum yum which is a uh, iridescent pink which i bought a while ago when i found out like Nicki minaj wears it or something or used to wear it so i like these chunky lip pencils they have really good pigment to them they're really nice the only problem is this tip here when you turn it to like like you would a lip balm or any kind of lipstick this tends to dent and break and just fall off so these are not really good quality so it's it matches my nails so it really is luck of the draw how long it will last for you i got another uh eyebrow brush because i needed a small one for doing the because i have hooded eyes so i just needed another one so this is an angled liner brush okay and let's see i got some hair clips in pink i needed some big hair clips like i said i have these short pieces in the front which are not quite bangs because i told her i want shorter i told my hairdresser and i always tell her this i want the pieces in the front to be a little bit shorter so this way they don't look my hair doesn't look flat and stuck to my head like this so keeping them a little bit shorter adds a little bit of like bounce to it the problem with that is you can't put your hair up in a clip because these pieces fall in the front of your head and you can't see and then you look like mo from the three stooges so you end up with that so this way if i get a big clip i put my hair back like this i pin it and look like a little girl pin it like that it's not so bad and then put the rest of my hair up in a clip so the thing is though all the ones that i had were really small i lost all my larger clips so i got these i don't think they had them in black this is also the scunchy brand so see how that works out more cosmetics we're almost at the end so they have this new line i don't know called remy rose cute I don't know if, if because of the model, if it's meant for people of color or people with a more olive complexion, uh, but I don't see where anybody couldn't use it. Um, so this one is Sarah and it's like, um, you can't really see it. It's like a nude, a pinky nude color. It, I guess it kind of looks like that. It's supposed to look like that. So this is a cream lipstick. And then the other one in the Remy Rose, and this packaging is really cute. Um, they had a gloss, but I didn't, I didn't want another gloss. So this one is in Lucy. It's like a pink color. And this is a everlasting liquid lipstick. So as if I needed more lipstick, I have like 
I must have hundreds of lipsticks and I use them once. Like I could use a different lipstick every day for a year, I think, and never wear the same shade twice. This one I probably have already and I just don't know where it is. And I, as if I needed another brown nude color, but I've been just feeling like these more nude shades lately. Um, so this is Wet n Wild in Breeze. So this is C531C. I don't know if anybody actually writes those numbers down. So that's Wet n Wild. And then almost at the end, promise guys, I know it's a long haul, but like I said, I left it for a while. I needed some more eyebrow pencil. Now I've been doing my eyebrow pencil brown because my hair is usually always brown, but now it's darker. So I got um, this, well, first I got the Sienna Brown, which is a darker brown, because I don't want to do my eyebrows. I feel like even though my hair is black, if I do my eyebrows black, it'll just draw all the color out of my face and I'll look dead looking. Um, and it might make me look older, God forbid. So um, I got the Sienna Brown. So I'm going to go a little darker than I usually do. But then I thought I figured this is um, an eyeliner. It could be an eye pencil as well. And this is in the shade Baby's Got Black. So um, yeah. So we'll see which is the better fit, the Sienna Brown or the Baby's Got Black. And then if the black one is too dark, I could just use it as eyeliner, which it's supposed to be anyway. And then the last thing that I got is if I needed more eyeshadow, but I love the bronze. I don't know, I've had this thing with like nudes and bronze colors lately. I really like the purple bronze combination that's in the Maybelline Grape Pop palette. So I want to try it out. Uh, maybe I will, what I probably will do is mix this with the Great Pop palette. Um, use this as the foundation, this in the crease, and then this above the, uh, where the brow bone is. So this palette, which is really pretty, like I said, you have like your base coat, which is a beige, your purple, and then your bronze. And this is in Water Lily. So why it would be called Water Lily, I have no idea. But that is the last thing. So I finally got this Dollar Tree haul done. So I will have a Bath and Body Works haul for you soon. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But in the meantime, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned to my channel for more great videos. But until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.